My name is Joost Buys and I'm assistant professor at Eindhoven University of Technology. In this trailer, I would like to show you what you will learn when you follow the FutureLearn MOOC Process Mining with PROM. We start from the observation that event data is everywhere. Whenever you do a bank transaction, whenever you send an email or receive a phone call, even when you use a public transportation system, event data is created. Similarly, when you use apps on your smartphone, even when you use your smart TV, or whenever you browse a website, even your FutureLearn website, event data is recorded. So what we observe is all these are software systems. They, they handle particular features, public transport, websites, etc. These systems somehow have to interact with the real world. And by default, a software system doesn't know how. So a process model is used to configure the software system and explain how the real world will interact with the software system. So in this process model, it's described which activities the software system should do and how to interact with particular triggers from the real world. And when the real world starts interacting with the software system, data is created. And this is what we call event logs. And event logs contain data in a particular format, mainly what happened, when, and for which case. And using solely this data, we can do process mining. So process mining is the connection between this event data and the process model used to configure the software system. One of the key features of process mining is process discovery. Using solely the data of what happened when and for which case, we can discover a process model describing how the software system behaves in different circumstances. Additionally, when you have a process model that you use to configure the system, you can do conformance checking. Where is the data deviating from the, the model that you had in mind? Finally, you can also extend the process model. Where is time spent in a particular process? How are resources working together? All this can be done using process mining. And in this course, we will teach you how. And for this, we use the process mining tool PROM. PROM Lite contains 100 plus plugins, well tested, and it's free and open source. So even in the end, you can contribute yourself new features to PROM. With PROM, you can convert tabular data into an event log format and start process mining. You get initial statistics, you get an overview of what happened when, and here you can see several patterns, and you will, we will explain you how you can recognize particular things in the, for instance, a dotted chart. But also we will show you how you can fully automatically discover a process model and animate the real data on top of this process model. So in this case, every yellow dot is a case. Activities have been performed for each yellow dot, and whenever you pause this animation, you know exactly what the status was at a particular point in time. And this is all done fully automatically, including the resource and performance dimensions, all discovered fully automatic. In this course, we will teach you all activities necessary to execute a process mining project, from the planning and scoping phase to the extraction phase. What data do you need to do process mining? However, we will focus on uh, several process mining techniques and how you can evaluate the results. Depending on the results, you may need to filter the data further to get to real and good quality models. Then we show you how you can summarize uh, results into actionable insights. So from process mining analysis results, you go from real actionable insights that lead to process improvement. So at the end of this course, you are able to do a process mining project from start to end on real data from your organization. Therefore, I hope to see you soon at this course.